All right, Shalom, Shalom. They're giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach All right, double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who were well. And peace and salutations to all you Akim out there preaching this truth throughout the four corners of the earth with truth and sincerity in your hearts and for the love of the gospel. All right, I'm, I'm accompanied here with the brother uh, Gabaria. Shalom. Kind of uh, GMS in Indianapolis camp. All right. And we're coming to coming to you with another sit down. <gasps> Excuse me. Speaking about the movie Bushwick. All right, we watched this movie Bushwick this morning, and it was it was hella spiritual, man. From the beginning of the movie, it was nothing but uh, action and and uh, and, and uh, uncertainty from the beginning of the movie, man. And then from the end, from the beginning to the end of the movie, it was nothing but action and uncertainty, just like how it's going to be when these martial law troops come to America. All right, when the Lord's prophecy come to pass, you know. When the Lord's prophecy going to pass, when he put the implement the mark of the beast and have a mandatory uh, implement, implementation of the mark of the beast. All right. Mark of the beast. You have something up? Let me get this one. This is uh, Psalm chapter 91, verse 7. Kind. It says, A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Mm -hmm. So basically, and that's like, uh, like uh, the brother was saying, you know, that's uh, when you watch the movie. That was all that was happening. I mean, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you can count, but you know, if you if you're into the movie, you're gonna lose you're gonna lose count how many, how many people you've seen die on screen. Yeah. You know, and now I mean, I mean talking about uh the blow ups, people that was dying around, you know, just on on the screen alone, you see people falling, you see people dying, you see bullets um, you know, flying whizzing past them, you know, they they're about to be running their crowd, you just see people falling, you know, so that's what the scripture says. You might you're seeing you're gonna see people die on both sides of you but guess what it's not going to come to id you're not going to you're not going to experience what they're experiencing because them them really that's judgment you know coming uh coming for them coming you know? from the lord coming from the lord Kind man uh since you said that's judgment coming from the lord and what you see on the screen before you is the movie that i'm talking about and it's on netflix if you brothers have netflix or whoever watching the viewer has netflix you can watch it on netflix you can walk on the sidewalk over here i know you got sandals on for that slot but uh if you have netflix this movie is on Netflix, you know. It's on Netflix. And you can view it on Netflix if you want to watch it. You can see it on YouTube. It's free on YouTube if you don't have Netflix. But I, it's a very spiritual movie to watch because this is coming to America, all right, to a city near you, okay? But since the brother said that, let me get Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah 15 and 2. I got something after you. Okay. Jeremiah 15 and 2. It says, And it came to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shall the, then shall thou tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Such as are the deaf to the deaf, such as are the sword to the sword, such as are the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And this scripture is talking about, man, whatever your lot is for you to die when that, when that, when that time come, that's the lot that you're going to have. Whether you get shot in the face, whether you get blown up, whether you get poisoned or, or attacked by a wild beast, okay? And if you go, if you keep reading, it says, I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord. The sword to slay, see? The sword to slay. The sword goes into death. Whether you use a gun or a bow and arrow or an axe or a machete or a knife or they get shanked up, you know, it don't matter. The sword to slay. The dogs to tear. So if you get attacked by a wild beast, Amos speaks about how you flee from a bear and uh, flee from a lion and a bear met him. And yeah. then you escape the bear and then you lean you lean on the wall and the serpent bites you. So that's that's symbolic of you fleeing from danger, meeting more danger. You escape the more danger and still fall by danger. Yeah, OK, no, um, no, um, no way out. Basically. No, no way out at all. It's, 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 it's death on every side. That's why I said. That's why the Lord said it. The first above it says the death to the death, yeah. sword to the sword, and famine that, to famine. It shows. It shows that in that movie Bushwick, it shows that um, right there at the at the first beginning, the lady came. She got handcuffed, and she see people killing each other. She see she just got handcuffed by some uh, police officers, some, in the some beginning, military yeah. troops, yep. and then some people came and killed them. And then <laughs> she ran. She was running on the gate, and she had uh, broke the handcuffs off. And uh, uh, went over to an, uh, uh, went over to like a little ditch or something and seen two other guys kill a, a guy and who uh, who eventually seen her and started chasing her. So she just got done getting handcuffed. That's actually a good point. You know, she just got done getting handcuffed, and then less than probably two minutes, you know, she had some other guys chasing her. So.
he didn't find no safety and no peace anywhere. And every building that they walked into, it was always someone already dead or someone already in there. Yep. You know? And it's uh, like, right after that point he's talking about, it's right in the beginning of the movie where yeah. she get handcuffed and zip tied mm -hmm. by these martial law troops. All right. And they, they actually say it in the movie. He tells her, oh, they declare martial law. Yep. All right. So after these martial law troops uh, uh, zip tie her, you know, they zip tie her. And then she runs and break the, break the zip tie. And she flees from danger to meet more danger from two men that's trying to rape her. Mm -hmm. And then she gets saved. Of course, it's Hollywood. They're gonna, they go, of course, they're going to save the, the woman. You know, but I'm just saying, in, in, in real life, there is no going to be no saving, man. Because the Lord is going to point over them, what? The sword to the sword and the death to the death and the famine to the famine. Yeah. Okay? Verse 3, it goes on. It says, I will point over them for a kind, saith the Lord. The sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Okay, so whatever uh, whatever judgment that you fit, if you're gonna be saved, you're gonna be saved. If you're gonna be destroyed, you're gonna be destroyed. You or know? You might be uh, preserved for captivity. Or you might be preserved for uh, ICBM nuclear missiles. Because uh, the ones that flee into captivity is the ones that are gonna take that RFID, RFID bico trip, which is what? Captivity under the beast, okay, in his system. That means you with it. And if you do take that chip, then you're gonna be destroyed by the uh, by the ICBM nuclear missiles, you know. Yep. You got some? Yep. This is Amos chapter nine verse ten. It says, "All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us." You know. So, hey man, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All right. And that's talking about that's basically it's uh, self-explanatory. You know. It's uh, the reason why America has to go through what it's going through because Jake ultimately has to go through that trouble. Like it talks about in Jeremiah the 30th chapter, Jake has to go through that trouble to be not only not only tried to because uh, you got some people that actually believe in the scriptures out here, so-called believe in the scriptures out here. So you know the Lord's gonna try them, all right. And if he finds that they're worthy, guess what? He's gonna bring them through that fire, and he's gonna um he's gonna bring them through that fire. And they're going to be found worthy. That's why the scripture says in Revelation, it says what? He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved, man. All right? And endurance is something that is not pleasant. Nine times out of ten, enduring is something that's not, not a pleasant thing to do. Because if, it, if you enjoyed it, it's not really enduring it, you know? That's kind of like a luxury almost, you know? So when you're enduring something, you're actually kind of suffering. Matter of fact, I think that's what the word enduring means. It means to suffer. Kind of, yeah, you know, Suffering in silence, I think. I think patience, know? yeah, patience means to. Uh, and the scriptures already talks about in uh, Lamentations. It says, uh, "He that both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord, uh, the same shall be saved." To some, to that effect, you know, in Lamentations. But the thing about it is, you know, there's Jacob. Trey, it has to come, you know, like the scriptures talks about in Matthew. It says, "What well, all these things are the beginning of sorrow, uh, but the end has not come yet." You know, but these things must come. They must come to pass because what there was written in prophecy, and, and uh, the scriptures talked about it, man. All right. So the things that you see in Bushwick, don't be surprised. And we actually got uh, some glimpses of that uh, right now. The only thing that we really didn't see in a, 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 in Bushwick and in, in today's 20, uh, in the year 2020 was really like a mass killing as Bushwick was doing. Because it was like people was just 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 rioting, looting, killing. Um, yep. uh, 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 shit, it wasn't enough raping in it, but that's going to be a lot going on too. You know, and um, uh, one of them... Uh, um, uh, one of them, uh, one of the main characters, I'm, uh, the main character, well, one of the main characters said, he said, oh, you're, 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 you're American, which basically shows you these people that's going to be, they, these, uh, these army people that's going to come, uh, uh, raiding in your, uh, your houses and your neighborhoods, mm -hmm. they're not going to be from America, man, because he was actually surprised he, the dude from, from America, you know, he thought he was from somewhere else, he thought he was, um, he thought he was an, um, uh, a, a, foreigner. Foreigner. Yeah, a foreigner, a you foreigner, know, because he said, oh, you can speak English, you know, he was basically asking the question, and he was, he was like, surprised that he, oh you're an american you can speak english like that because he was expecting somebody from from a foreign country yeah you know and that's what a lot of people are gonna a lot of people are gonna try to reason with these uh u.n troops when they're not they're not gonna speak and even if they do speak english they probably want to tell hey listen don't listen to what none of these people say if they don't do what you say kill them on sight yep you know that's what they had the orders they had in the movie he said when he actually in the same part that my brother described and he said uh we didn't expect there to be so many guns in this area mm-hmm he said, we didn't expect there to be so many guns in this area. But after after we dis discovered that there were guns and there were people were fighting back, we had orders to shoot on sight if, it, if we deemed them a threat. Yep. And that's exactly what's going to happen today, man, because everybody got guns, man. Those are uh, those the militia camps out there. They got guns. You know, Jay got guns. But uh, I got a scripture. He, 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 my brother quoted something. He said, man, these people, 
the Lord is uh putting everybody through a test, man. You know, this is the book uh Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? So Ed, so Edris asks him, what shall I do when these evils come? What, what, what am I to do, Lord? You know? So, verse 19 says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. What does it mean to amend? To, to, uh, to, to, to repent. Okay? To amend for your sins. To accept that you have done them. To acknowledge your sins and ask for forgiveness. That's what amendment is. You know, to atone. You know, so all of these scourges are meant for things for amendment. So all those that are sorry, that are truly, sincerely sorry, the Lord is going to have mercy upon. But those that are proud, man, the Lord is going to destroy with all of those things that's written in this uh, second edge of 16, 18 and 19. But it says, verse 20, but for all these things, they shall not return from their wickedness. So all of these things that the Lord is going to send upon them. They shall not return from their wickedness. That's why the scriptures say, why should I stricken you more and more? I mean, why should I stricken you more? You will revolt more and more. You will revolt more and more. Why should I stricken you anymore when you're going to revolt more and more? Because a, a stricken, a whooping or a punishment is to what? For your correction. For your correction. You know? But you're not getting the point. You're not getting the, uh, you're not getting the, um, you're not getting the point of what the Lord is doing. So thus far, guess what? You just have to, you have to die. That's you right. Know, what's the point of keep whooping the child over and over and he's still doing the same thing? He's still going to bump his head. Yep. You're whooping him so he can, so he can, um. Get better. So he can get better. So he won't do that, that act or whatever he did. He won't do that anymore. You know, but you Kinda. people are making an enjoyment. You you, you people are making a, a pleasurable place out of your punishment. That's right. All right? That's for America, man. America's our punishment, but that's sure you have Jake's living comfortably. I actually was working with a, 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 a nigga woman who said she's actually comfortable with her job, man. She <laughs> said she likes her hours. It, it fits right into her schedule with her kids going to work. She makes enough money to pay all her bills and then some to have uh, left over. And she said she was comfortable. That's, I'm like, man, you're not you're not looking for nothing better. She was that's like, actually no. a Drake. That's actually a normal, uh, common Israelite dream to uh, be financial. Finan they, they use this term to be financially secure. That word, that, that term financially secure means to be comfortable with the job you have, with the car you have and the life that you have, where you can go out and do what you want to do because you got the means to. All right. And that's the Edomite mentality. You know, you don't live your life according to any rudiments or guidelines, according to your how about Shem Shah, which is the heavenly father and his son. You know, that's that's a, that's a common life for these people. You know, did you have something? I did. This is Zephaniah chapter one, verse 12. It says, it shall come to pass at that time will I search Jerusalem with candles, with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Yeah, God, perfect. It says, it says wait, 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 read that again. It says, one twelve. It says, and it shall come to pass at that time I will search Jerusalem. I should, I should search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. It says that say in their hearts, the Lord would not do good, nor do, nor will he do evil. That's, that's right. Back, that's back to the scripture I said. It says what? The Lord which shall not prevent us, nor overtake us. You know, basically saying what? Oh, the Lord, the Lord is, a uh, uh, the Lord is never going to come back, you know? I'm like, wait, what? You know, who, who, who ever said that? You know, basically always put, it says what? Putting off the day of the Lord, man. Yeah. You know, saying, uh, uh, oh, the Lord's not going to come back. And if he do come back, he's going to do this. He's going to do that. You know? Bro, some people actually out here that say, if the Israelites are right, then we're fucked. <laughs> Bro, people actually come out here and say, oh, shit. If the Israelites are right, then we're fucked. Because they don't believe that the Lord's coming back. But we out here preaching it, and they hear us preaching it, and they listen. But they like, oh, okay, I hear you, but I don't believe that because I'm settled on my leaves. Yep. When you look at that word leaves, it goes into shamar, mm -hmm. which means protection. See, they they they, they are protected in Esau's society. These people are they protected, and they trust in it. So the scriptures talk about how you trust in a broken reed when you lean into the broken reed. Yeah. That and it's not even a stab; it's a reed. A reed is a what? A twig. Like it's as small and as well. Way. Well, reed is the, is the beginning, uh, the beginning part of a staff. Just like an, um, a clarinet. A clarinet has a reed, but it's yeah, near, okay, near, that, that, that pointy the, part. Um, yeah, it's near the uh, mouth. I was thinking more like when you go fishing, you you got a you got a reed because mm -hmm. that staff used to be yeah. called a reed before it was like a fishing pole. Right, 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 right. But um, but yeah, like that pointy part of a staff, and you you lean into it for support, like you leaning into Esau for support, like help me out, I need some help. And then Esau stabbed you in your back because that reed is going to stab you in your hand once call, you lean onto it. Because the scripture called it a broken reed, you know? Oh, con. You know, con. It's, 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 meant, it's meant for support, but once you 
once you trust it and you put your support on it, it's gonna do more than it's gonna do more harm than good. That's right. You know. And that's that's the leads that these people are settled on. But the, the beginning part said I show. It says that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leads. He's searching Jerusalem because what? In the book of Proverbs it says that the candle of the Lord is the is the, is the spirit of man. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. So how is the Lord searching Jerusalem with candles? By with his men. Because in the, in the book of Hosea says, I have hewed them by my servants, the prophets. And also in the book of Matthew, it shows you, it says, let your light shine before men. That's right. No man put a, 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 a candle up under a bush or up on a bed, but on a candle, but on a candlestick, so it can make, give you, it may give you, you light. light. Yeah, exactly. And then also it says in uh, Second Thessalonians that, um, Second, Second Thessalonians 2 and 8, it says the Lord uh, hath consumed them through the spirit of his mouth. Who is the spirit of the Lord's mouth? The Lord's mouthpiece, which is the prophets. All right, so the Lord is hewing these people down. He's killing these people by his servants, the prophets. You know, so that's how he's searching Jerusalem with candles. We are the, we are the candles in the midst of darkness that's searching these people, sealing them up. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, uh, it says their, their good shall be become a booty, and their Damn. house is a desolation. A booty is a treasure. Yep. So that goods is going to become a treasure to other men. You know, and their house is a desolation. Why? It's because it's going to be spoiled. When the house is destroyed, when you ever see a burglar, when you come into when you come into your crib and a burglar just went through the, your house is spoiled. Everything is, is gone. You know what I'm saying? It's a desolation. Mm -hmm. That was it? No, it says, uh, it says, uh, it says they shall build a house, but not inhabit it. They shall, they shall, they shall also build houses. Sorry, they shall also build houses and not inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. And That's that happened, right. and that happened to us in slavery, man. That's guess captivity. What? You, you also can, uh, you also can uh, uh, compare that to what's coming to now, man. Because what? You got people building houses. You got people that are building their houses for maybe a year or so. But when the time comes, guess what? You've been storing up all the, your, your, good, your goodly wine, your goodly, um, your goodly treasures for someone else to come and take it. That's why the scripture says what? Um, uh, 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 your treasure. Uh, uh, what? Save up, saving up your treasures on plant earth. Store not your treasures. Yeah, store, yeah, store not uh, your treasures on, on earth. earth where moth and dust do corrupt. Because guess what? That same uh, wine that you've been saving for ten years, or that same. Uh, oh yeah. Or, or yeah. like, uh, or like Will Smith said, man, I've been saving, saving that, that bacon. bacon. <laughs> guess what, man? That's probably been saved for someone else, cause someone else can come in and take it from you. Bro, motherfuckers on YouTube, when this motherfucking, uh, even before the pandemic, well, not the pandemic, but even before this riot and protest start happening. Bro, when the pandemic was happening, people was talking about the government finna be shut down. They was going in and uh and and not looting, but they was going and buying up all the toilet paper. Yeah. You know, panic shopping. I've, I've I've actually seen a person say this is on social media. I've actually person say he said, listen, he said he said if you bought uh he said if you bought all that um if you said if you bought all that meat at the grocery store and you ain't got a gun, you bought that meat for me. That, that's what I was going I, to. Yeah. So you finished it. <laughs> that's what I was getting to. We could have did it right there. Yeah, yeah, we could have. But uh, that's what I was getting to, cause bro, these people are already in the spirit of that day. Mm -hmm. They are already yeah. in the spirit of that yeah. day. It's just that they they scared of the police. Yeah, they, yeah, uh huh, exactly. That's why in the in the apocrypha it says what the courses of men shall stand in their own in their way. Well, it show it well it shows you what if, if police doesn't um have no authority, you show you'll see what the people do. They riot and take everything. Yeah, they knock so the police what, out. Yeah, well, and, and guess what happens when um guess what happens when there's no more stores to loot? You know what's what, what's the next thing that you think of? Oh, you forgot. Oh man, that fucking nigga had a, 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 a such and such, such. I was in his house two uh, a month ago. I seen that big ass them two deep freezes he had for one, man. And yeah. you see your family uh, uh suffering. What you think a person gonna put two to two together, man? You know Jake already be finessing people out here, and there's already uh, plenty of food and uh uh uh, uh, uh necessities and and, and and victuals out here. So what you think Jake gonna be right now? Jake only do it for money and jewelry and everything. But back in, in, uh, in the time to come, it's gonna be for what? Actually, food, money, uh, food, clothing. You know, you got it, bro. I'm looking for the scripture real quick. Uh, uh, it talks about how sedition among men. Second Edges 15 and 9, 18. It says, uh, yeah, 16. So Second Edges chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be a sedition among men, and invading one another, mm -hmm. they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Yep. That's that's not regarding the laws and the, and the rudiments that they abide by. Governors and mayors. And yep. That's not that's not gonna be any law enforcement to enforce the law. Even famous people. Even yep. uh, 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 
so the, the tables are going to turn because what the scripture says he that apart from iniquity make it from self a prey because mm -hmm. there was no judgment in the land the lord was the lord was wroth so there's no judgment going to be in this land in that day there's not going to be no judgment there's going to be like, oh you did this so you you're punishable by this right because the course of their actions i already i finished it hey uh uh joker even said it on uh the dark night he said um he said when the chips are down these are these people these uh civilized people yep. said, they'll they'll eat each other he said they only they're only as good as the world makes them to be so basically um that's epic uh, 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 uh if the world says this is good then they'll try to do all the way up into the world basically if the world said at this point you're good but if you ever uh overstep that boundary you're a bad person yep. but guess what when that boundary is no no longer there there is no there, good and then bad. there is no good or bad it's ever everything you do is already good it's gonna be good in your own eyes it's gonna be uh that's why he said that these people will eat each other you that's know right Right dummy. now, it's bad to, to rob somebody, to take somebody else. Oh, you look at as bad person if you're a murderer or a yeah, killer. Yeah, right. You know? you know, but they don't even understand what the word murder means. Mm -hmm. But if you if you murder somebody, if you kill somebody justly, that's not murder. Right. You know, but uh, especially in this day and age, right now, really to be honest, this whole entire uh, except for the elect, the whole entire world, man, is is, is worthy of death, man. The only reason why I say not the elect because the Lord actually imputed their sins. So really, the elect can't sin because they're already forgiven. Yep, they're already forgiven. Because what they're gonna do is already written. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing, what the elect is doing right now is already written, so they can't do anything outside of what's written. Exactly. But uh, let me finish this out, we can close up. It says for, it says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, the curse of their actions shall stand in their power. And that tells you that in the same movie that he talked about in, in uh, The Dark Knight, it tells you that uh, the, the, all the criminals that was at Arkham Asylum, mm -hmm. they was they were the judge, the jury, and the executioner. You know, the dude actually was like, he was like, what do you choose, exile or death? He said, I choose exile. He said, all right, he chooses exile by death. <laughs> you know, <laughs> bro, so that's going to be in that day. But uh, hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, and God, till next time, say shalom. Shalom.